Good evening. My name is Michael Dickinson, and I would like to welcome new and familiar faces here for the celebration. Today, Father Chris Field celebrates Mass with us. Something to think about today and during the week. Walk the talk. Practice what you preach. Take the high road. Forgive and let go. Enjoy and appreciate life. Love with all of your being. Please stand as we sing together.
pray. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw another angel rising, where the sun is rising, carrying the seal of the living God. He called in a powerful way to the four angels, whose duty was to devastate land and sea. Wait before you do any damage on land or at sea or to the trees, until we have put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. Then I heard how many were sealed, a hundred and forty-four thousand out of all the tribes of Israel. After that I saw a huge number, impossible to count, of people from every nation, race, tribe and language. They were standing in front of the throne and in front of the Lamb, dressed in white robes and holding palms in their hands. They shouted aloud, Victory to our God, who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels who were standing in a circle round the throne, surrounding the elders and the four animals, prostrated themselves before the throne, and touched the ground with their foreheads, worshipping God with these words, Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honour and power and strength to our God for ever and ever. Amen. One of the elders then spoke and asked me, Do you know who these people are, dressed in white robes, and where they have come from? I answered him, You can tell me, my Lord. Then he said, These are the people who have been through the great persecution, and they have washed their robes white again in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord.
uh, heroic virtues and life, we try to emulate somewhat because of what they've done, we might be able to do just something of what they do. And it's a reminder that we are joined to uh, the saints in heaven. Now, church on earth is, is through prayer and through our own merits, we will enjoy their company one day. But today, we aren't celebrating the big names. Today, we're celebrating the ordinary names, the unnamed. We are celebrating those who also have led great lives and even currently, because they're still living, they are living a great and holy lives. They are bringing God to others through showing their lives and following Jesus Christ and what he calls us to be doing, to be good and faithful servants. And that's why it's great that we can celebrate this day on a Sunday where we all are remembered because within all those ordinary saints we might like to um, in our own mind remember those people who have gone before us uh, with the sign of faith but also those here in our church this day who we work with who also are currently leading others to God leading me to God and uh, they are the, the broken people, the happy people, those who sort of get on our goat sometimes and, and lots of different people show their love of God to us in various ways and even if we briefly glance at ourselves in the mirror we might see something of our own holiness within each of us and that's what we are celebrating. We're celebrating um, the ordinariness of life, but we are all trying to, in our own ways, uh, bring God to others. And what we do, we say, how we interact with others, um, how we join in with others. And this day is a day where we remember those people, those gone before us, those around us, and we say thank you to God for them.
May their witness to the gospel bring others to a greater knowledge and love of you. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christian churches, may they grow in solidarity and work together in proclaiming the gospel of Jesus, the risen Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember all the saints, the people of faith, who have lived and died in the service of the gospel. May their witness to the gospel encourage us to be living signs of God's love. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For all nations, that they may seek the way that leads to peace. May human rights and freedom be respected everywhere and the world's resources generously shared. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. May all who hunger and thirst for God be nourished by the Word of God, the Eucharist, and the Christian community. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, may they come to share in God's banquet and rejoice in His merciful love. We remember Emmett Mitten and Jenny Williams. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. And we remember particularly those uh, who are going to be confirmed next week in the Basilica. We pray that the Lord will continue to walk with them in a special way during this week. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we long to share the communion of charity that the saints of heaven had with you. Make us holy, and deepen our desire for sanctity, and let that desire govern everything we say and do, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty 
to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of
informed by divine teaching, we dear pray. Our My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
going to mention anything from the bulletin because it's all in black and white and very clear about what's happening next week. If I say anything, I might confuse someone. So we'll just keep it to what's going in the bulletin. And uh, thanks to those people who turned up at the Basilica today to help clean inside and outside as well. It's great to have the rain to wash down all that dust and everything now, so we're all very happy. It's good to have you here. Let's stand and pray. As we adore you, O oh God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that, coming to perfect holiness and the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the glory and joy of the saints, who has caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers, bless you this night with unending blessings. Amen. Freed through their intercession from present ills and formed by the example of their holy way of life, may you be ever devoted to serving God and your neighbour. So that together with all, you may possess the joys of the homeland where Holy Church rejoices that her children are admitted in perpetual peace to the company of the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit Amen. come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace and joy of the Lord. Thank you. 